so this is the starting point for a series that I've been looking at doing for a long time, and that's uh, night vision. Uh, in the past, I've worked at various companies selling night vision in a couple of different contexts, uh, and now that I'm no longer doing that, I want to talk about it in a more general sort of introduction kind of way without the pressure of a sale. So in this series, I'm hoping to go from broad to narrow. We're going to start with some really basic fundamentals on what night vision is, how it works, and some comparisons on what you get for your money. Uh, and then we'll go into some more detailed stuff as far as specific brands, specific devices, and uh, using them all together. I'm building a bunch of companion videos that'll branch out from this one. But let's start with the biggest choice. There are two key technologies that make up night vision, image intensifiers and thermal detectors. An image intensifier is the green wash night vision you're familiar with from video games and movies. It takes a tiny amount of existing light and amplifies it into something that your eye can use. This I2 technology also gives you access to the IR spectrum, meaning that illuminators, strobes, and lasers that would otherwise be invisible to the naked eye appear through the device. A thermal system is like the classic predator vision, which detects heat signatures. These units read infrared radiation instead of light, so they're entirely focused on differences in temperature in an environment. That means thermal devices can see residual heat and through some kinds of obscurance, but this can also mean that some visual information is lost. For example, they can't read a sign or see through a pane of glass. So we're going to start out with some fairly basic comparisons as far as what you actually get for your money when you buy this stuff. So something like this here, this is a FLIR 1. So this is a little tiny thermal imager that attaches directly onto your phone. It costs about 300 bucks. This is a FLIR Scout 2. This is the 320 version. This unit here is about $3,000 and it's a dedicated thermal monocular. What's the difference between them? Well, I'll show you. This is a little Gen 1 image intensifier. This is called the Viper. There's lots of other little guys like this from all kinds of manufacturers that all sit in and around that $300 mark. Whereas this is a PVS-14. It's a Gen 3 military monocular and it's standard around the world. These will run anywhere from $2,000 to $6,000 depending on your make and model. What's the difference? Well, let's see. So you know your stuff and you're serious about working in the dark. What's the next step? This is where we start to look at different helmets, different mounts, different particular equipment, and how it all works together. In the world of night vision, there are lots of different ways to achieve essentially the same goals with different sets of gear. And so the final point is integration, both with thermal technology and I2 technology, and using all those different things together, and with other people. Whether you're hunting or in security context or in a legitimate military context, it's unlikely that you'll be using night vision alone. In the past, a lot of this stuff was government specific. They were the only people with the pockets deep enough and the people out there doing stuff in the dark. But nowadays, there's all kinds of applications for night vision equipment. I've been doing this for years and put a fair bit of effort into figuring out how and why all this stuff works and works together. But I still find new things. So we'll see, maybe my initial estimate of videos is gonna be short and we'll find that there's more to talk about still.